So far, you've seen all the processes. Now we're going to put spices. This is chili, uh, dried chili, and I love it. Well, I I measure everything with my eyes unless I really need to uh, measure with a spoon or something. But otherwise, everything here is guess what? That's chili. There's black pepper. Uh, ground, not fine, ground, just the uh, coarse ground pepper. And then I just add to my liking. I'm glad nobody else is eating this food because it's damn spicy. And then this is the ginger I use for my tea. And since I never buy fresh ginger, just going to use this. And I used two teaspoons, heaped, just heaped teaspoons. In in the into the into the onions. Then now we come come in with the garlic powder. We just put two small spoons of it. I'm not a fan of garlic, but with when you have ginger in it, then it's not so bad. And you have turmeric. All my spices I either buy in Indian shops or Arab shops because they seem to have more better dry res, uh, spices than other shops. So this one is really like different color from if I bought it from a normal grocery store. Uh, just mix it in with the onions and and then now we're going to get the tomatoes and put them in as as you can see everything is very it's just it's just a simple recipes of making dengu because i love i love most of the time during the week i don't i rarely eat meat and not because of this uh, i don't know all these people are not eating meat it's just a preference for me meat takes too long to cook so <laughs> I like the high, yeah, the quick highway, fast food, quick food, fast food, and meat just takes too much. Uh, so now I mix the tomatoes in. I'm going to boil everything together because my my beans are not done. My 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 lentils are not ready. They are just been soaked overnight, so I I don't think they are. They are cooked, so I want to boil them with everything else, and I think that's that's going to, yeah. And then it's good because also the the lentils can get the can soak into the to the spices and everything. I have not tasted this. I did not taste it. I just I wanted to see the scent uh, to to smell it and see how how strong the spices were, but. I couldn't feel anything so but I was like I, I don't want to add any more spices so I just added the salt to begin with and then I'll add more when the food is ready so this uh, it's it's quite it's quite an easy recipe and also I cook at a low temperature Maybe number three. I start with number six to heat up the oil, but I have to reduce it all the way to a three when I add the tomatoes because it start bubbling and then it has just makes the kitchen messy and me and cleaning up. I'm very lazy, so I do the bare minimum. So and also with uh, uh, number three uh, setting, I can uh, the, the the food won't burn. And especially tomatoes, they burn so fast. 
and then I add in the washed lentils. This is like split uh, lentils, the green grams. Uh, I like them because then they don't take as long to cook. Because you see, now when they boil with this sauce, I don't have to like have pre boiled them. Well, as if it was not the split ones, then I would have first to boil them, then make the stew. And as we said, it's fast food, healthy fast food, and this is one one way I have to do it. And with this, I would love to eat it with chapati or rice. I avoid rice because I can eat rice a whole bowl without anything. So I avoid rice. But I have a bulgo and the the brown one, and I have ugali from Kenya. So there are a few options to go around. Uh, yeah. So now we're just going to let it boil and see and let it cook cook for i let it cook for an hour because it, it, at low heat for one hour i also added water because uh, the tomatoes was not enough liquid this is coriander yeah and i freeze all my spices from the summer but this is a bunch from another time it's not from summer yeah i just uh, usually just uh, use my uh, what is it called? Anyway, my blender, like, no, not blender, food processor. I use my food processor to do this, to make them, make my spices, make my vegetables, like, and freeze them up. So, yeah. And there's this new thing, new, like, shrimps, dried shrimps that I learned from my West African friends. Oh, I love the taste in food. It just brings the food just gives food another taste you know like this food has no meat but me adding this clay fish really gives it, it lifts the taste and makes it mwah, yum mm? and I empty it into a, a tight seal con a tight seal container and so that yeah it can airtight container so that at least it can maintain its freshness so it doesn't absorb moisture this one i i think i added like two spoons but then after the boil i felt boiling it for about for half an hour i went back to taste and it was i needed to add some more so in total i think i used four spoons of the clay fish and wow i love it i think the next time i'll use more coriander dania because uh, yeah I just I just love herbs. I'm currently like growing herbs in my balcony and some uh, spinach and uh, what else? Skumawiki. What are they called? Kales? Kale. Yeah, I'm also growing kale. Let's hope all goes well. Well, here it's after some boil, boiling. Then the crayfish has absorbed some moisture then just stir and like see how cook well done how cooked it is or if it's done or not and I, ha I eventually had to make it like cook it for a whole hour from the time i put it in the tomato to the time i took it off the fire it was approximately one hour and yeah and with that time it was well done well well done I hope this simple recipe gives you inspiration to do to make your own kind of food and this is a guesswork it's no like <laughs> this is a trial and error so I hope I do hope that you enjoy your your lentils in other forms and ways yes I love when the oil floats on top then I know that the tomatoes are really cooked I really appreciate you watching this and I hope in the future I can come up with other simple recipes because editing is uh, not my strong point but if I make such short videos then I think I can make it. Thank you for watching and come back again.